for the main course of the show, our last 12 chefs have one more chance to shine. I am going to up the challenge a little bit downstairs for you guys, because while your cocky van is in the oven cooking, you guys have the choice to make an accompaniment with it. Conrad's favorite side dish with Kakova is either potatoes, pasta or rice. But he's hoping that at least one chef will produce something new and blow him away. Instead, every one of them will use the same ingredient for their side order. Okay, you've got a perfect chicken Kakova in the oven. That's it, I mean. What's the perfect garnish? Honestly, I'd eat it on its own, but doing a side dish, I'd keep it simple, mashed potato. Creamy basil mash. New season roasted potatoes. I was just going to buy some brand new potatoes. What I'd like to do is actually a baked potato South African style. Do you have time to do a baked potato South African yes, style? Yes, I do. Because Your yeah, oven's going to be hot enough to cook it in time? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, go for it. We're over halfway gone. I haven't seen one person checking their chicken yet. For all they know, the chicken could be burning in the oven. Okay, we've just reached the 30 minute mark, guys. Remember, if you're going to make a mashed potato, I want a lovely, creamy, silky mash. Come on, guys. Get your cocker vans ready to go, guys. Get the lids off them. Start skimming away all the grease. We're going to be serving up in less than 15 minutes. How's everybody doing? Come on, guys, give me some life. Come on, answer me, guys. Jesse was keen to serve up, but was way ahead of the posse. I don't want you serving up now, Jesse, but your chicken needs to reduce more. I want to serve it up exactly at one hour. I'm very impressed with what you did, but your timing's wrong. Ten minutes left, everybody. Ten minutes left. Seven minutes left. Six minutes left, guys. Six minutes left. Five minutes left, guys. You're going to ladle out one portion. The one portion should have a little bit of breast and a little bit of leg. You can bring it to the pass along with your side dish. Is that clear? Yes, chef. Give me one final yes, chef. Yes, chef. Come on, give me some energy. One minute left. Yes, chef. 30 seconds. 20 seconds. 10 seconds. Jesse lays claim to the first tasting slot. Very, very good, Jesse. Some of the chefs desperately need a good result to stay in the game. That was a very good comeback, Jesse. Jennifer. But the favorite's good, your chicken's nice and washed. You've done a good job. Thank you, Chef. Well done. Gareth, you were told the side order on the side order plate. Piece of breast, piece of leg, nice proportion of mushroom and sauce on the plate. Sorry, Chef. pre plate it, Gareth. Chef. Next. One of the most important things about being a head chef is your staff must follow orders. Okay? If everybody in the kitchen decide to do whatever they want with a dish, I wouldn't have much of a kitchen, would I? Yes, Let's go. Your yeah. oven's going to be hot enough to cook it in time? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, go for it. Next time, hopefully. <laughs> no. Okay, nicely presented. I see you've cut the chicken yourself. Did you not trust it? I didn't trust the oven, chef. Okay. Okay, it's cooked great. Got a nice flavour. Okay, unfortunately, my South African potatoes, you were right about the timing. It didn't work. So I, I just... told you your timing was wrong, but you argued with me. I told you. So I made a plan B. Okay. Just lightly sauteed potatoes, a bit of salt, butter. Okay. Maybe a bit too rich. So where's the potatoes now? In the oven. Still cooking? Yes, chef. Bring them to me, please. Yes, chef. Now. Still quite raw. They're quite raw. Mm -hmm. I hope they're stuffy. Got to listen to your chef. Yes. Got to listen to advice. Let's go, Gareth. Yes, chef. Show me your masterpiece. It doesn't end up well for Gareth. Sorry, chef. What, what is have? what is this now? This is basically just a, a mash a mash cake with a spring onion in. It's probably a bit soggy there now because when I moved it from one to the other. What's this black stuff? 
I think I didn't, I, I put too much butter, or the butter burnt, burnt on me and I just lost it. Um, I thought I could have saved it a bit. Okay. Start your roll. Disappointing finish, Gareth. Yes, chef. Disappointing. Conrad can only take eight chefs to the next level. Tough decision. When I agreed to do this show, I figured that. Oh, let me think. Ugh. Okay, well done everybody. As I said from the beginning, only eight, eight's going to go through. So in a few minutes I'm going to call out basically eight names. And the eight names I call out basically is going to be the, uh, the eight's going to go through to the next, uh, the next part of the show. So as I call your names out, please take your knives and leave the room. Jesse. Hello, Jess. David, you're through. <laughs> okay. Emma, you're through. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now I think I have to go to class. Oh my god, thank god it's over. <laughs> Jennifer, you're through. By a hair! By a hair! Somebody call an ambulance, will you? Yeah. No, yes. he's alright. Oh, I do it! I do it! I'm doing it for the small people. Yeah. Yeah. Harry, you're through. Yes. Mary, grab your knives, you're through. God, I'm over the moon. I, I really didn't think I was going to make it through. Philip, you're through. Yes. Conrad asks the last five to join him at the pass. Can everybody else come around me for a few minutes? Okay guys, it was a really tough day. I know you all worked extremely hard, but unfortunately I can only send eight through. One more of you here will be going through, but only by the skin of your teeth. It was a really, really difficult decision. I believe, Kate, if you were given some time, you will really, really excel into a wonderful young chef. Okay? I've seen you battling with one or two of the challenges. I did give you the benefit of the last time, but I think you struggled with the last dish. Okay? On a normal day, if I was sending one person home, you would have been here. But today, I think, you know, you didn't just, it just didn't happen for you. Patrick, I think you've done well. You've done a good job. So have you, Dave. So have you, Gareth. And you, young lady, yes, sir. are going through. Oh. Well done. Thank you so much. By the skin. Of my teeth. Of your teeth. Yeah. I advised you three times that your potatoes yes, would not be cooked in time. You didn't listen. You said, no, chef. I'm cooking for over 20 years. Yes, chef. Okay? Okay. I promise I'll listen to you. Join the rest of them, please. Thank you Hello. so much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God! Gareth, it's been a pleasure. Much, I must yeah, say, it's been a man. pleasure. Yeah, it is. Okay? Thanks very Keep much. your head up. Yeah. Keep following your dreams and your passion. Oh, yes. Good job. Are you okay, Dave? Yeah. You okay? Come on, keep your chin up. There's always next time. Sure. Live the dream. Absolutely. Thank you. I made it! The skill I'm looking for is the skill to be driven, to be committed, to be the first one up in the morning and the last one to bed. I can teach you the rest. For all recipes and master classes, visit the Head Chef website. And don't forget you can follow the series on Facebook and Twitter.
the head chef roller coaster is up and running. Next time. Do not stand in front of me in 30 minutes time and tell me your pumpkin is raw. Make a goddamn plan. Perfectly cooked couscous, perfectly cooked ratatouille. Precision. I know exactly the next move I'm making all the time. It's just moving up every single task at this stage. I think you have to big time. There's no room for failure. Like, like if you fuck it up, you're gone. Where's the cockiness? Where is it? Where is it? Gotta give me cockiness on the plate. Give it up to me. I was always cocky, but on the plate, I always put it up. Yes, yes.